Hi you guys, welcome back to another Vlogmas video. Today I want to talk to you guys about journals, notebooks, and planner. And this is going to be a casual conversation as to what I use all these journals for and if I actually use them on a daily basis and why do I need so many journals so I hope you guys enjoyed this video so if you're wondering why does one person need so many daily journals planners and notebooks you are not alone I was uh, once upon a time I was the same way I didn't understand why people needed so many journals why not just have one thing why do you need anything at all why can you just keep it up in your head well I can no longer keep everything in my head I have too many things going so there's just no way I can do that so for the longest time I wanted to get a journal that I could just keep everything in I thought I will have one journal for everything for um, as a planner for my calendar for planning you know future projects for notes taking from note taking for gratitude for journaling my thoughts I thought one planner for everything and then I can go back in it and look at it whenever I want and even for a vision board I thought one planner for everything as it turns out that's not a good idea and I'll tell you why because everything needs its own space because if I'm taking notes of a book that I'm reading when I want to go back to that those notes maybe a year from now I won't remember where I put that right because I'll have to go through the entire journal trying to figure out where it's at plus you know if I'm taking notes from the book and then all of a sudden I get an idea for a YouTube video or then I get a business idea and then I go back to the book I'm reading and now I'm gonna it's the next day so I'm journaling and now I got to write my cooking recipe that I just thought about you know I thought about a good idea for a recipe now I got to write that down here then I got to go back to the book I'm reading it's just not good to keep everything in one space which is why I have so many different ones and I really do I'm actually going to perfect that even more in the coming year so these are the ones I currently have and I'm probably gonna get new ones so obviously this is for 2020 and this is my um, my journal that I'm using now this is my bullet journal and as you can see you know I've used it a lot <laughs> And I did stop using it for a while because I couldn't find a good way of using it. You know, like I said, I was planning my YouTube stuff here. I was doing everything, writing down my thoughts. At the beginning of the year, I did my vision board here too, as you can see. So I'm going to change things up. I'm going to be using my new bullet journal that I will get for the new year for planning things out that I want for the entire month. So I'm gonna do like a monthly thing that I want to accomplish. I'm also going to maybe make it a little fun and write things down like, you know, my horoscope for the month, moon cycles, and just things that are fun for me that um, I enjoy. So that's probably what I'm gonna be using my, my um, bullet journal fork in the coming year. The next one I need is a gratitude journal because um, I like writing my gratitude and I do it every night before going to bed and I'm currently using this one for my gratitude and my actual journaling. So what I really want is just one dedicated journal for just gratitude you know that I can go back and say all the things I'm grateful for and just have one space for gratitude next I want just one journal for just writing down my thoughts and how I'm feeling you know one of those intuitive writing moments in the morning or maybe right before going to bed just writing how I'm feeling about life in general about maybe something I'm going through just writing it down getting it off my head and onto the page makes me feel a lot better so I want a journal a new journal just for uh, writing those thoughts 
Next, I want a journal for all business things. Like I'm, I'm sure I'm not alone. I'm constantly coming up with a new YouTube idea or a new product idea or even um, a new business idea or whatever it is. I would like to have a place that I can just always come back to and know this was my business idea for 2021. And then I'll know I don't have to you know, try to figure out where it's at. This is it. This is my business journal. And I can always write down all the things that I want on here that I come up with. Like I said, I also want a journal for, I don't have one right now. So this is my journal right now for not only writing down my thoughts, but it's my gratitude journal and it's also my note taking journal. So that when I'm reading a book, all the notes go in here and you know to be honest i won't remember that this is where it's at i won't remember i'm cons i'm reading right now badass habits and i'm taking a lot of notes and i'm going through a whole thing and i won't remember that it's here there's a whole 21 day process that you have to go through and i would just love to be able to know that's where it's at a dedicated space for all the books that i'm reading and all the notes that i take and believe it or not i do go back i have a bunch of journals there that I have gone back and I wanted to see, you know, when I set goals, how far have I come? Have I accomplished any of my goals? And um, I remember finding, going through a journal because I wanted to find the notes that I had taken for a book that I read, The Universe Has Your Back by Gabby Bernstein. And I went back and started reading through that and I was like, that's such good ideas. That's such, you know, but I kind of forgot about them. So anyways, a journal for that. And then I obviously need a planner for scheduling things. Um, in 2020, this didn't get a lot of use because I didn't go anywhere. I hadn't, you know, I didn't have a lot of things planned outside of the home like most of us, but that's what I intend on using this one, scheduling things, maybe like vacation. And, um, if I do attend a conference or if I have book signings or if I have things like that, that's what this, um, that's what this planner will be used for. And as you guys are already familiar with my book companion journal, this is what I will use for every book that I write. So when I'm writing a book, I will use this to, you know, mark my progress, how, and then document how I'm feeling about the entire thing. So this is what I will use for my writing life. This coming year, this is new, I just released, as you guys know, the Super Manifesting Journal. So this is what I will use starting 2021 to plan out all the goals that I want to accomplish this coming year. It's going to be a daily thing that I use every single day. I will use this um, goal journal and I am really, really excited because I do use the method in here but again it was like all scattered it was all over the place so i'm happy to have it in one spot that i can return to it again at the beginning of the journal there's a date so i will have it for you know when i i happen to start it on 1 1 2021 but the beauty of this journal as you guys if you don't know already know this journal can be used at any time. It doesn't have to be used at the beginning of the year. You can start it whenever you want. I did it like that on purpose because we are all on different transformational journeys and your journey may not start on 1-1-2021. It may start on March 12th or it may start in April 5th, who knows? And it's a year of transformation regardless of when you start. So that is what I'm using this journal for. And I always need a notepad. This is like my thing. I write notes on here all the time, so I always need a notepad. So the question for this video is, do you use many journals or just one? Remember to be entered in the giveaway. You have to like and comment on every Vlogmas video that I upload from the 1st through the 25th of December 
and yeah you guys and you have to be subscribed i hope you enjoyed this video and that i gave you another insight into who i am the whole point of me doing vlogmas was for you guys to get to know me a little bit better so i hope that i'm accomplishing that so far that you guys are getting to know me a little more and yeah i hope you're enjoying vlogmas so far i hope you have a great day and i will see you again in a brand new video tomorrow until then stay safe